I am uh, Masahiko Mori. I'm the group CEO of the DMG Mori uh, Corporation. Before uh, talking about the advanced manufacturing, uh, by our research, uh, I know the number uh, our installed machines uh, from DMG Mori is about roughly 300,000 machines uh, working as of today. And uh, think about our market share in the past, and also check the numbers of the installed machines with the Siemens, Fanac, Mitsubishi, Heidehai, Beckhoff, and so on. I believe that about uh, 5 million machine tools are uh, working uh, in the group. The problem or subject to solve is that the average vintage is over 20 years. This is the issue. So uh, it is very important. How can we smartly replace those kind of a very old uh, 5 million machine tools into a real 21st century equipment? We have been working very hard uh, to, uh, developing uh, and making the very reliable and precise uh, five axis machines or Milton technologies in the last uh, almost 20 years. Uh, in summary, uh, the first CNC machines, uh, not CNC, but uh, uh, numerical control machines are developed by MIT with the support of the American government in the uh, 50s. And the 60s uh, uh, numerical control turning machines are uh, becoming popular. And 70s uh, uh, turning machines become more and more popular by use of the computing technologies. And also vertical machining center is coming to the market. In the 80s and 90s, uh, horizontal machining center uh, becoming popular. And then uh, the beginning of the 2000, uh, everybody is starting to uh, developing uh, five axes and military technologies. Now it is matured. So that it's a time for us to replace the very old uh, special purpose machines by use of the very reliable, flexible, precise uh, five axis machining or militants. And that is our mission, to replace uh, five million machines to uh, one million machines to make a more process integration. Of course, uh, the right as this, uh, you know, rapid C TCT exhibitions, we can see many uh, rocket industries or space industries, aircraft, uh, jet engines, or medical industries, or even some, uh, like uh, as a machine tool builder, I ask my engineer for newly developed machines. We have to use at least one or two additive made uh, parts onto the machine tools. So uh, in short, uh, machine tools are not made thousands of months. But if you have a product, something like uh, 10 units, 20 units, 100 units a month, that is a very good, good application for using the additive made parts. As I say that uh, in the world at this moment, 5 million machine tools. And then for the one shift, uh, at least 5 million people are working for in the factory, in, in front of the machine tools. But most of the people just putting the raw material into the machines and taking out the machine parts from there. This can be replaced by robots. Yeah. And you want to think about the processing integrations, five machines into one machines. Uh, we have to fully utilize the computing technologies, digital twins, or phenomenons in be between uh, workpiece material and the cutting tools and so on. So we need more scientific approach to make a real uh, programmer or scientist in front of the machines. We can work together and the uh, demand for SME type educational and also vocational trainings and uh, by use of the English, English is a common language for any manufacturing uh, societies all over the world. Uh, so that uh, my expectation for SME is uh, huge. We can work together more. Yeah. Well, uh, I love this industry, it, it, you know, that uh, I want to sell more machines, but uh, we are enough for making something uh, 5,000 machines, 6,000 machines. Uh, of course, our machines are very, very expensive, over uh, 1 million US dollars average in the United States. But uh, if we can make more precise, robust, and uh, fast, quick machines, this will directly contribute to enhance the quality of the human beings. And, and so the, the cutting phenomenon 
uh, makes uh, chips and swabs and so on, that is not so clean. But the nature of this industry is very clean. So harder work by us makes better life for the entire, better quality of life of the human beings. This makes us drive to make more uh, efficient and uh, uh, robust machines for our customers. You know, I, I was born as a second and third generation of the machine tool builder. So this is my family business. And also I have a very, very good friends and uh, customers and uh, colleagues in my company. And then working together with Americans or Germans, Japanese or Asians or all over the world uh, by doing uh, or developing the same technology or enjoying the same technology that makes us a very, uh, you know, it's a kind of joy for me, for us, to, to work together with the new technologies for, for the better life. We have been doing a machine tool business over a century. And always, of course, we have a large customer, uh, com com company like, uh, you know, G or GM and whatever. But always 50% uh, of our customers are less than 100 people. Majority is the 30 to 50 people's family owned company or some new startups. People are always talking about uh, startups or venture is uh, always something related with uh, too much software or Silicon Valley type of things. But, uh, you know, but most important ventures or, or small SMEs is, uh, uh, you know, coming from the manufacturing field and especially for this type of the uh, CNC machining or, or additive technologies. It's a quite good fit for very innovative uh, family owned or, or, you know, young talent or even the elder ones, are, you know, and uh, uh, small things is not uh, disadvantage. Sometimes you can move quicker and then also take a responsibility for the quality and, the, you know, commerce in a good balance. So uh, I strongly believe we can be a very best partner for such kind of a small, medium enterprise uh, from until now and from now on for the future.